Corinthians 11, chapter 2. And when I came to you, brothers, I did not come with excellence of speech or wisdom, proclaiming to you the witness of Yah. For I resolved not to know any matter among you except Yahushua Messiah and him impaled. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my word and my preaching were not with persuasive words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, in order that your belief should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yah. Yet we speak wisdom among those who are perfect and not the wisdom of this age, nor the rulers of this age that are being brought to naught. But we speak the wisdom of Yah, which was hidden in a secret, in which Yah ordained before the ages of our esteem, which no one of the rulers of this age knew. For if they had known, they would have impelled the master of esteem. But as it has been written, eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, nor have entered into the heart of man what Yah has prepared for those who love him. But Yah has revealed them to us through his Spirit, for the Spirit searches all matters, even the depths of Yah. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the spirit of the man that is in him? So also the thoughts of Yah no one has known except the spirit of Yah. And we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit that is from Yah in order to know that Yah has favorably given us, which we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the set apart spirit teaches, comparing spiritual matters with spiritual matters. But the natural man does not receive the matters of the spirit of Yah, for they are foolishness to him, and he is unable to know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual discerns indeed all matters, but he himself is discerned by no one. For who has known the mind of Yah? Who shall instruct him? But we have the mind of Messiah.